surprise. Oh my gosh. Will you go to prom with me? Can't believe I'm buying your ass a suit for prom. Nah, I got it. It's a team in LA trying to sponsor me. What are you talking about? I'm not sitting at home while you out here living your best life. What? I never put you in danger. Dude is getting this freak on with this young lady by the name of Bianca. And yeah, they know each other and it's 420. But guess what? They're interrupted by Rosalind. And Rosalind is telling Duda that, yeah, nobody needs to find out that he was the one that took out Q. If they do, they all get sent up for a long time. So Rosalind goes to see Victor because she knows that Victor knows who did it. And she just tells him, listen, he better not say anything or everybody's going to be implicated and go up the creek. Here we go with Cairo teaching Tiff and Rob how to grow this thing, but they find out that they need two separate locations to grow it right. They go to Victor to try to get a permit, but they're talking about six months out, but Tiff is not having it. She's still going to move forward no matter the danger. And yeah, your boy Rob questions Victor as to what he knows about Q. And of course, Q is in denial, deny, deny, deny. He's not going to say anything to anybody about this here we go yeah definitely trouble and they need a nanny and they also need a maid and yeah emmett is like this is not the fresh prince of chicago so emmett has to take the kids to work this is definitely gonna be a problem they gotta figure it out real quick and that's what happens when you play house right so here we go shot is now connected to duda he's getting this money for doing a one-time job but we'll see if it's just one time the men finally meet up your boy Victor keeps his word and they have a long discussion. Darnell talks about how society is putting everything on men where they got to act like they're Superman. But of course, Emmett comes through and says, listen, you dropped the ball when I was younger. It's cool that we're getting to know each other now, but he wishes everybody would get off his back as he can't be a man from something that he did not see growing up. So let's see how things work out with this. Definitely look out for an exclusive grown man talk. That I'm going to have with some of my fellow brothers who I highly respect. This will be exclusive on Vacay VIP members only. So join the channel now. Your boy Papa finally gets the kiss from Kenya. Let's see how this goes. And it was a little discrepancy with the crew. We'll see what happens. Pastor Jackson preaches a sermon that definitely stirs up Duda. And Duda puts in the call to take Pastor Jackson out. Nuck. If you buck, we'll make it happen. Will this be one of the last sermons we hear from Pastor Jackson? And will he be the one ending up in this coffin right here? Listen, you guys drop your comments below. Let me know. What's going on, fam? It's your man, VKJ. Oh, yeah. And this is the What's Next for Episode 5 of The Shy Season 6. And this one right here is definitely going to turn up because it's prime time, family. That's right. Yeah, it's one of those nights. We gonna break it down. Let's go. So the name of this episode is One of Them Nights and the description reads, Kevin, Jake, Papa, and the crew celebrate a major milestone. Emmett questions Duda. Keisha asks for help. Jamal issues a warning to Bakari over Lene, and Shad makes a potential life altering decision. Oh, yeah, this is definitely going to heat up, family. I can see it. Let's break it down. So we see your boy. Yeah, Big Papa is surprising Kenya as he's walking into the job. And yeah, he has this sign real clever. It says Anita prom date, meaning I need a prom date. But he's using Anita Baker's first name because she loves Anita Baker. Right. That's their song, you know, and all of that. So, yeah, she's surprised. He got the balloons. He got the flowers. You know, Papa's going to run that game. You know, he's going to shoot his shot no matter what. You know, Papa's always been that brave. And, you know, she's just smiling and cheesing. Definitely a great surprise for her. Will she go to the prom with Papa? Listen, you guys let me know. Remember, she is a preacher's kid. So we'll see how strict it is. You know, it's kind of a double standard. You know, the preacher's kid that's a female is different than the preacher's kid that's a male, right? All right, so now it's time. It's prom time. Kevin is ready. He's smiling. He's getting suited up, suited and booted. And yeah, Emmett is there. And he's saying, man, you know, he can't believe that he's going to be buying, 
you know, Kevin a suit for prom. But Kevin says, hey, listen, I'm actually going to be sponsored, you know, by this team. So, you know, I got it. No problem. You know what I'm saying? So he's probably talking about his gaming team. And Emmett is just like, what? What? He's like clueless as to what's going on. He doesn't understand what's happening. But that's probably how, you know, Kevin's going to pay for it. We see Keisha right here. She is air hustling like a mother right now. You know what I'm saying? Listening to a conversation, you can see in her eyes, she is not happy with whatever's being discussed. But right here, we see Keisha saying, hey, listen, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be here sitting here, you know, doing this while you living your best life. And it sounds like a little jealousy going on. It sounds like, you know, uh, yeah, she wants a little bit more, wants to be part of the action. But Emmett, once again, is surprised as to her actions and what she's saying. He doesn't understand what's going on. Bakari brings those straps to your boy Shad. And of course, Shad, as he said in the last episode, he doesn't want any part of it. He walked out of the smoke shop. He doesn't want to hold nothing for nobody. You know, he just wanted to do that one time job, get the money and be out. And yeah, he's real adamant about letting Bakari know that he doesn't want to get caught up again, doesn't want to go back to jail and that he needs to get out of the game once again. So being that Bakari is telling him, listen, I won't put you in danger. And he knows that Shad needs the money. He's dropping him a couple of bands or whatever the case is. And he's probably going to leave the straps right there and say, hey, you decide whatever you want to do with it. But I'm going to give you the money anyway. And he walks out. Right. He's walking out. And yeah, Shad has to make a big decision whether he's going to keep it, whether he's going to comply or he's going to get rid of it. We shall see. But it's prom night, family. That's right. We see Jay and Jay, Jake and Gemma walking down the steps, red carpet, the whole nine. They're taking pictures, you know, super proud moment. We are watching proud parents, proud brothers and sisters, you know, just clap it up. For these kids, man, they're finally going to the prom right after that is graduation. So as we expand on who's there, we see Emmett, we see Keisha, we see professional photographers, we see Victor and everybody. And yeah, that's right. We see Nina, Bakari, Lene, and Dre. That's right. It's time for the prom. It's time to have a good time. You know, they've been working real hard. And we see in this picture right here, man, these kids have grown up and you can tell. And just look at the picture. That's all I'm going to say. Whether or not your boy Papa got a date or not. Okay. You could just look at the pictures and see for yourself. I don't really need to tell you anything. All right. But again, they could be fooling us with these pictures. You guys got to stay tuned. Find out whether or not your boy Papa got a date. From what I see here, it looks like Kevin, Jake, and Papa probably had a conversation about Kevin possibly dating Maisha. And they squared things away. So not at the prom to have a good time. They probably had to sit down and everything's cool. Pop is cool with it. They're all cool with it. And they're there to have some fun. And looking at this picture, it looks like Maisha became the prom queen. Well, I don't know who's the prom king, but we're seeing that she became the prom queen. And that makes sense because she's very popular. You know, she's an artist now, still in school, still doing what she has to do. And she's, you know, just really that chick. And so it looks like your boy Kevin is geeking out. He's having so much fun. And it's good to see these guys just have a lot of fun just doing a thing with each other. Unfortunately, though, after the prom, we see that the cops are following someone and pulling somebody over. Who could it be? Of course, it's Bakari driving his car. We don't know whether he's by himself or not. Most likely he's not. But yeah, he is bricks right now. And yeah, he don't want to get pulled over. You know why, right? So they're going to pull him over. He's scared. You know, I'm sure Lene is with him, right? And she's scared as well. So yeah, 12 pulls him over, probably asking for license and registration. We already know that car is hot, is stolen. And most likely, Bakari doesn't have a license, right? Come on now. They're telling him to put his hands on the steering wheel, as you should, brothers, you know. And Lene is probably sitting in the passenger seat, super nervous, super scared. And yeah, they're going to run those plates and find out, yeah, it's stolen. So we're going to see this scene here where this is the police precinct. And yeah, Lene is probably booked as well for being in that car as well. So yeah, Nina and Dre is going to come pick her up to get her out of there. Now, will Victor go and spring Bakari out, take care of his community, right? 
Or will we see Duda come through once again to pick up one of what he sees as one of his goons, right? And man, Lene, I guess your brother Jamal was right. Because now that you got picked up, you got a record as well. What's going to happen next? We shall see, family. Drop your comments below. Let me know, fam. This is what's next for episode five. I'm looking forward to seeing them let their head down, have a little fun at the prom. But I'm definitely not looking forward to what's going to happen with Bakari. Yeah, it's going to get crazy. Family, if you found me for the first time, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And absolutely, if you're loving the shot, definitely hit that like button. And hit that share button as well, fam. Make sure you check out Grown Man Talk a VK VIP members only exclusive that will be released shortly after. All right, fam. Listen, I appreciate all the love and all the support, fam. I appreciate you guys, your likes, your comments, your shares. And as we approach 10,000, fam, I appreciate you and your subscription as well. Definitely share this out. Let me know. Drop your comments below. Whether you agree or disagree, drop your predictions as well. And if you like this video and love this video, definitely check out this next one right here. And until next time, Salute.